She still liked half my speech. It's ridiculous. The winging from here. Fun people in the back. Oh my god. Just wanted to say, dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to get through this thing called life. Electric word life means forever, and that's a mighty long time. But I'm here to tell you, there's something else. Marriage. Actually, I don't need to remind everybody why we're all here tonight. It's an open bar till 11. Actually, on a more serious note, it's my job to lead us all on a toast celebrating Jim and Darlene and the bond they've created here tonight. But not before I take this public venue to embarrass my brother. Um, to start off at the beginning, when I was a kid, convinced my parents to let them take these at least two times a week, even though I received incredibly bad grades at school. Or Jim, Eric, and myself would spend about three hours at a comic shop on Saturday when I should have been home studying. I guess Jim wasn't much for fancy book learning. And Jim also inadvertently had taught me at an impressionable young age that a night on that a night on the town would be measured how much fun it was by seeing how much clothing you would fall into sleep wearing. <laughs> Under the covers, fully clothed, which your sneakers still on, had met the night before was legendary. <laughs> this is a little FYI for Darlene's side of the family. Just let them know what she's getting herself into. I'd also learned as a kid, that while watching a pro sporting event on TV, if you scream loud enough, there was still a slight possibility the official could hear you. <laughs> Even if the game was pre-recorded. <laughs> but on a more serious note, Jim also taught me about virtue and honor, to always be there for your friends, and if you ever find a wallet with money in, with money still in it, you should return the wallet with the money intact. Because next winter at the ski resort, you will be the one who loses your wallet. And it's always good to have karma on your side. But now, and who better to pair you with than Darlene, your new bride? She's incredibly caring. She goes out of her way to make everyone around her feel welcome, which I've noticed. <laughs> a woman who shares the same values as my brother, Darlene, you truly bring out the dragonfly in my book. <laughs> now all you have to do is start. <laughs> Sorry. Now all you have to do is get to stop wearing those ratty baseball t-shirts. <laughs> but let me just close with a few words of advice. Always be there for each other because life is too short to waste time arguing. Okay, okay, now it's the part I Now, if everyone would just lift their glasses and follow me and wishing Jim and Darlene the best of luck in the future, a marriage that only grows stronger as time goes by, and as always, live long and prosper. I love you guys both.